Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host Sri Ayer. As always, you would like to start your Mondays with a conversation with Sri Delhi R Rajagopalan. Lot of scoops, lots of masalas, lots of other things that are happening in and around the country, sometimes even outside the country. So all that and more, let's invite our guest of the morning, Sri Delhi R Rajagopalan. Rajagopalan sir, Namaskaram and welcome to P Guru's channel. How are you Namaskaram, sir? Namaskaram sir, Namaskaram sir, I am fine sir, I am fine sir. Very nice sir, very nice. <laughs> Sir, uh, as always, I would like to request you to start with a slokam, sir, and then we can jump oh, into the events chacha, of the okay, day. Okay, 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 okay. The, the slokam this time I chose this Dharmo Rakshit Rakshitaha Sarve Janaha Suhino Bhavantu. The way in which our Vedic scriptures have said about uh, Sarve Janaha Suhino Bhavantu. That is what, you know, Sapka Sat, Sapka Vikas, Sapka Viswas. That type of concept for the last 5,000, 10,000 years we have been practicing, sir. Based on that, there is a Lakshmi Sloka in which, you know, one day Jagan Matharam. This Matharam means Jagan Matharam, the world you know, deity, world deity. Lakshmi, Sri Ramudra Raja Saniyam, Sri Ranga Kameshwari, Tasi Buddha Namaste Deva Nidham Lokai Katipankuram, Sri Man Mandakadakshali Prabhupendra Ganga Dharam, Tvam Trailokini Kudimbinim Sayyam, Vande Mugunda Priya, like that, you know, it was a lot of slokas. Apart from that, Aigiri Nandini Nandita Medini Vishwa Vinodini Vishnu Nute Jaya Jaya Makisha Sura Mardini Ramya Kavardini Saila Sute Namaparvati Made. Like that, you know, we have. To... <laughs> you, know, we, you and me have become, you know, totally uh, Arahar Mahadeva. <laughs> Such a such a you, sir. <laughs> yeah, so, and, and you know, these are all certain inspirations we get. And also I got from my forefathers, especially from my grandfather and father who taught me. I come from a very, uh, you know, respectable, uh, you know, journalistic family. But still, we attach significance to this, sir. Sarve janaha sugino bhavantu. You know, what a time. Vasudeva kudumpakam. So this type of things are there in our country, in our culture, in our tradition, in our, you know, uh, you know, what way, you know, anyhow, we can go for a major scoop debate, sir. Today, we don't want to keep our guests because today it is going to 12 number I have got. 12 issues we have to debate today, sir. 12 issues. Okay. First, we will give you a sneak preview. 50 seconds. Here we go. Well done, well done. Congratulations, sir. Dr. Kanik. You deserve an applause from me because it's a very soothing effect you had this morning. Eight issues you have covered. Six more I have, sir. You can ask me questions. I will go on answering, sir. So first, let us start about uh, universal uh, civil code. Un I'm sorry, uniform civil code. I have been asking for this for a long time. I thought in that momentum of 2019, you know how they did uh, uh, all the stuff like uh, 370 abrogation, CAA. I thought NRC or uh, UCC will come like almost immediately, but somehow breaks were applied and I don't know why. Perhaps now is the time. Please talk to us a little bit whether UCC is going to be presented in the next parliament. It could even be done as a another way also, right? You can give an ordinance. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Now, let us, you know, uh, break the first scoop number, news break story. UCC, Uniform Civil Court. Mr. Amit Shah, the Union Home Minister, and Mr. Kiran Rijiju spent three full days to give get a draft. These are all at a secret meetings 
held in North Block, Amit Shah's chambers, the law secretary and the home secretaries were also present. So this draft bill, according to my source, is ready. That is the story which I would like to break to our uh, you know, P Guru viewers. Apart from that, Mr. Ayer, it's a sensitive subject and also sensational at the same time. My understanding is the parliament, especially the Constitution Assembly, debated it. Mr. Ambedkar, Minu Masani, K.M. Munshi, these are all stalwarts. Minu Masani, I had the opportunity of knowing him very well as a chairman of the Swatantra Party because my father had a long association with Sri Rajagopal Achari Rajaji. And in Kill Park, when they came for a meeting, Mr. Minu Masani heard, I, I heard him saying about UCC to Rajaji in 1960s and 65s, like that. Apart from that, Supreme Court held it many times, uh, debated it. And for the past 40, 50 years, this UCC has been an irritation for every government, whether it is Moraji Desai, or for Vajpayee, or for Modi, or for Manmohan Singh, uh, PV Nasimrao, like that. High courts have debated. Law Commission has produced several reports. Parliament, there is a standing committee. Apart from that, the, deba the debate on uniform civil court started with framing of the constitution and has kept alive by the by the judiciary, Supreme Court, High Courts, as well as the political class like BJP, Congress, CPM, CPI, like that. The issue has again brought up at the forefront of public debate with the recent judgments of Shabanu case last uh, decade, and which invalidated the triple talaq. So this is all certain you know combinations of uh, things. This also decided by the Law Commission inviting public consultations on UCC in October 2016. So this is the graphic presentation for our viewers. Now it is for uh, Mr. Narendra Modi to take a quick decision. You know, Mr. Modi, spring surprises. Like 2019, in the month of September, I had the opportunity to meet him with Mr. Arun Jetli and you know, a lot of... Then I asked him, why did you uh, rush the uh, triple talaq why do you rush 370 abrogation? He said it should become a history by the time I go to people in 2024. That was his very best answer. Similarly, this uh, UCC, let me ask you a question, Mr. Ayer. Will they introduce now ordinance or after 2024 election, sir? I think uh, the right way to do it would be to introduce it in parliament and pass it now. Uh, this basically why it is important is because you are seeing that Nitish Kumar wants to stir up this caste issue. Um, as much as the Patna High Court has said, no, you cannot take caste census. What I'm hearing from the ground is that they already had many government officers go and do the census and about 80 to 90 percent was already complete. One way or the other, these people have got their hands on the data. And, and this is a pure caste play politics. In my opinion, sir, UCC paves the way first for a uniform civil law as well as criminal law for the entire country. And slowly, this caste shadow needs to go away. That is my two cents, sir. But, but, uh, but, but there is another opinion prevailing in the highest echelons of the uh, government. My understanding is they will introduce the bill, as you said, now and debate it after 2024. They want to introduce because almost all the promises made by Mr. Narendra Modi in 2014, apart from the political uh, manifestation of uh, Congress Mukh Bharat, but he completed very effectively three important things, Triple Talaq, Ram Mandir and also 370 abrogation. So now the fourth one. Will he do it in 2024? This is all certain, uh, you know, thinking. Mr. Narendra Modi alone can take a call on that. And ordinance, yes, that is also one route. Ordinance is a best route. But ordinance, if you pass it, already the political class, especially in six states, Mr. Ayer, we have to mention this to the benefit of our viewers, who oh, thousands of, uh, you know, viewers are listening to you and me now. I get a feeling Uttarakhand Justice, you know, Madam Desai has drafted that bill. Uttarakhand is going to introduce Karnataka poll campaign. The BJP has put in the election manifesto. 
Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, and Madhya Pradesh have already drawn it. Haryana and uh, you know the other states are coming up. So things are fanning out slowly. There is a public debate now happening. You can't say that Narendra Modi rushed the bill. Amit Shah rushed the bill. So we end with this. This is the scoop number one, sir. No Thank other you so much, paper, sir. no other newspaper, no other channel, no other. It's only CIS new initiative of Ujo journalism. You and me have done it. <laughs> YouTube journalism. Yojo, Yojo, yes, sir. <laughs> Yojo, 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 Yojo. Yojo. <laughs> Um, Rajagopalanji, uh, you know, even as we have this, you have a reverse discrimination going on in Tamil Nadu. Tamil yes. Nadu says we will not implement the 12% economic uh, whatever quota, e EWS or something like that. And this is, in my opinion, wrong because what they are trying to equate is that 12% is directly going to benefit only Brahmins and that is wrong. These people are half illiterate, not even literate. They are illiterate, and even in that, they are half illiterate. Don't even know what to say two times in a in a day, and and they think that you know they should not be implementing this. There are thirty two percent of the population in Tamil Nadu which will benefit from EWS, including some Muslim castes also, which are uh, categorized as forward castes. So this is just yeah. nonsense. What they are trying to do, sir. One thing is India needs to go beyond these you know religions and castes and all that. Needs to so do that very, very fast. One quick comment. We end this digitalization, artificial intelligence, 5G, 6G will level the you know, playing field, sir. Take it from well, I, I, I in, hope in so. the introduction of artificial intelligence, the enormous uh, no Dravida model or no DMK, no Dravida. It's all Vengai model, sir. It's not Dravida model. Uh, it's finished model. everything. The digitalization <laughs> will finish everyone. And Tamil Nadu students look for artificial intelligence, graphics, you know, I mean, uh, this uh, uh, graphics, etc. That's are going to be the future of uh, India. Any student, that is why Narendra Modi has allotted 35,000 crores in 2023 budget for artificial intelligence. Very good, sir. Let's now take a look at what is happening in Karnataka as the elections come closer and closer. It's now very much visible. And uh, Modi has been doing a lot of rallies, very well attended, I must say. Um, what is the mood on the ground? What are you hearing? You are a very experienced journalist. You know how to put the reality factor, how to get the numbers. How are things according to you, sir? Uh, Karnataka is a tough battle, sir. Very, very tough for both sides. And the cash factor is playing a, a key role, Lingayat and Okaligas. Apart from that, there are few issues. Uh, and why I say it's a tough fight, the third element is not a direct fight between BJP and Congress. If it was so, BJP sweeps. If there is a third factor, like Ahmadmi Party in Delhi, JDS in uh, Bengaluru, in Karnataka, this will split the votes of BJP. That is why, Narendra Modi has given a push, 25 rallies, a hard-hitting speech yesterday he delivered about, you know, telling the uh, Congress they are anti-nationalists like that. So, the, and the Prime Minister also mentioned Congress is a fraud Congress. Carpet bombing was from almost all the top leaders. And, you know, uh, suddenly Congress, they say Tamil, uh, uh, there, there is a problem in Tamil. That is elephant from its you know trunk, it spread uh, this uh, uh, earth mud, that mud, sand mud, or mud yeah, yeah. on its own head. So the, the Congress did it by equating PFI with Bajrangadal. Abel Muje Maru, the Walatakada Marble Pine That is all certain, you know. Congress should have thought about it. Sir. Put it in nutshell, three aspects. Congress peaked at the earliest. BJP, uh, you know, because of Narendra Modi and carpet bombing uh, uh, came to the fore. In, 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 in nutshell, if I uh, illustrate, BJP will be the single largest party with three digits. Congress, two digits, touching 98, 99. JDS, below 25. So, therefore, it's going to be a, a tough fight. BJP has an edge. 
hung assembly. These are all three factors. Sir. Thank Hindutva, you, sir. Now let's go to Hindu, Hindutva, Hijab, 40%, Anuman, Tala Bandi, Tushtikaran, Kali Ghosh. And you know, Congress manifesto is totally negative. If you want to approach a person, a, 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 a community or a voter's base, you can't go negative of it. The policy of Congress went negative because we will not do this, 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 we will not do this. Wampan, you know, this Anuman Chalisa ka band karenge, Anuman Jabajanga dal ka band karenge. They could not go negative. Whereas Modi's electioneering, Amit Shah electioneering, Nadda's electioneering is positive. So therefore, I enunciated three points. Yes, sir. We go to the other scoop, sir. Yeah, scoop number four, sir. Uh, DMK is having difficulty, sir. This is what I heard on social media. The current secretary, Mr. Uday Chandran, uh, it's believed that he was asked to become the finance secretary and he allegedly replied, if PTR is a finance minister, then he will not be able to be the finance secretary. Then a, a float, a balloon was floated that Tangam Tenarasu will become the finance minister. and uh, But then Tangam Tenarasu does not want to become the finance minister. All these are happening on social media. Sir, you have a special in route <laughs> to DMK friends and office. You tell us what is happening, sir. <laughs> now, now the topic of uh, uh, scoop is Babudam in uh, you know a bad shape in Tamil Nadu. The to put it in perspective, the chief secretary Yerai Anbu and director general of police Sailendra Babu are retiring on June 30th, 2023. There should be a process. That is why this Mara Mari, this uh, type of fresh taking place among the Babudam. If you convert the Babu Dam in Tamil Nadu, there are roughly 240-50 IAS officers, 250-60 IPS officers. If you divide it further, north versus south, north, Biharis, Uttar Pradesh, and you know, Bhumiyars, Pandit, uh, Thakur, Muslim, Christian, apart from that, uh, northeast, Odisha. So these are all combinations. Entire Tamil Nadu, which has got 32 districts, are posted with 32 North Indians as district collectors, district magistrates, which is not a Dravidian model. Mr. Stalin, if you want to encourage Tamilians, why do you bring all North Indians as a district collector? And unfortunately, Dravidian model, when Mr. M.K. Stalin is going to proceed over for another three years, the government, which is not ruled by Dravidians, Chief Secretary may be from Rajasthan because if you put Yerayanbu, a successor, Yerayanbu is a uh, pure Tamilian like that. His brother Tirupugal was with Narendra Modi as uh, you know secretary in uh, PMO like that. But Mr. Yerayanbu, successor will be a North Indian. Similarly, the Director General of Police successor, Sailendra Babu successor will be a North Indian. The process has begun. That is why the UPSC, Union Public Service Commission, will suggest three names for the Chief Minister as a Director General of Police names. 18 names have come from Tamil Nadu DGP to the UPSC. There is a committee in UPSC, Chairman, Union Home Secretary, Director, Intelligence Bureau. They all still understand the panel and the seniority as such. I understand Sanjeev Arora, the Delhi Police Commissioner, is also in the run. He is from Tamil Nadu cadre. But... Amit Shah does not want to leave him as a responsible officer of Delhi uh, Police Commissionerate. So coming to the point, as you asked me politically, PTR, can I tell you a scoop, sir? Yes, sir. I, yes, sir. I, I kept it for mini scoop, but I will release it. I will speak it out. PTR named Gaya Bogia. No name in the list of uh, star speakers of two years of completion of Mr. Stalin government. Gaya, it is evaporated. Where did it go? God knows it. That is also indication that PTR may lose his ministry. Now, Tamil Nadu Babudam, we clearly sir, sir, put it. One, one, other, one other piece of gossip. Uh, Son-in-law. Uh, what's his name? What's his name, sir? Son Sabari son. Sabari son. Good that Sabari you forget his name, sir. <laughs> Sabari son was meeting on the sidelines of some one of those uh, lit fest with Mr. O. Panir Selvam. Kirkit, and Kirkit, that Kirkit, also Kirkit. evidently 
Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry, IPL, IPL. Exactly, exactly. IPL. The picture is it, also it, there. It is, so it is, it is, it is a, it is a manipulation to show that Sabarisan is back from London. That is the poster they wanted to send it across. A, a picture. They done it very effectively. You know, DMK is uh, artificial intelligence they invented. When Karunanidhi was to be arrested, PHSA from back side, oh, you, 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 the sound was created. There is no right, sound right, right. like that, but they added it. Similarly, here, the photograph of EPS, OPS meeting, Sabarisan created a flux and in, 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 they wanted to release it so that Yadapati Paini Sami camp is aggrieved. They have a, a you know, Aval Karachi, you know, you had a, a topic Put to mention. Fodder, fodder for gossip. Fodder for, fodder uh, for gossip. And yes. I don't see, attach much significance because O Pani Selvam has been branded as Team B of DMK. Therefore, we don't space time on that, sir. Well, that's all we have for you on TM, uh, DMK front, sir. Scoop number four. You, you suggest me that, sir. I will come out. Karnataka. What Gandhi happened to Mr. Rahul Gandhi, sir? He doesn't inform Delhi police. He doesn't have uh, SPG now. He doesn't inform <laughs> Delhi police. Currently shows up in Delhi University. The proctor, <laughs> the proctor of Delhi uh, University on Friday said that he is a trespasser. Wow. Rahul Gandhi is a trespasser. She announced it, sir. A lady is a protector of Delhi University. She said Rahul Gandhi has no business to come into our campus to create a disturbance. Peace, uh, spoil the peace. Because Rahul Gandhi must be busy in Karnataka. Why is he right. in Delhi? Right. Because the three Gandhi space, they sp uh, spend it over, sir. I, I tell you a secret of the Gandhi family uh, approach. If Sonia is there, Priyanka will be somewhere. Rahul Gandhi will be somewhere. Because the focus should be on Sonia Gandhi. And Rahul Gandhi may go to the But when the uh, Karnataka is boiling, uh, Narendra Modi is taking on Congress head on. This gentleman called Mr. Rahul Gandhi was having a lunch with uh, Delhi University students. God help Congress, sir. God help Congress. And there is Delhi police is considering to file an FAR for his trespassing. Wow, that will be something else. Uh, we'll wait and see what happened. Uh, next, I don't have any other scoop that I can guess, sir. You have to tell us what is the next <laughs> scoop. Scoop number five. Five, five. Scoop number five. From my understanding, sir, the thing, the, uh, scoop number five should be from my understanding, there, there is a phone call. I'll call you later, sir. So the the, the importance of, uh, uh, you know, Tihar. Ah, yes. I referred to my notes. The scoop number five and the final one is, we keep it for, uh, you know, next uh, morning, the others. But the scoop which I am going to tell you is connected with Delhi Tihar jail, sir. What happened, for sir? the past 30 years, uh, for the past 30 years, Tamil Nadu police was guarding the Delhi Tihar jail, sir. Oh. Suddenly, Mr. Amit Shah decided to transfer all the 400 and odd uh, battalion, uh, persons in the battalion, Tamil Nadu, and send it back. Because murderers are taking place among the convicts and uh, uh, there are, you know, uh, sex appears corruption charges against Tamil Nadu because they stayed for more than 30 years, three decades. So things are not that good with Tamil Nadu police. It is high time Mr. M.K. Stalin is briefed on the Tamil Nadu Tihar police uh, uh, atrocities on the uh, inmates of Tihar jail. Director General of Police Sailendra Babu, as he leaves the chair, is a blemish on his you know stature because Never you heard a Tamil Nadu contingent which is guarding Tihar jail, which is also fetching revenue for Tamil Nadu government, say hundreds of crores, now will be nullified. Now Telangana police will be substituting Tamil Nadu police to guard the Tihar. Because the reason was the person guarding the Tihar jail inmates should not know the Hindi language. Now in Telangana, you are from Telangana, you know in the Urdu speaking. So it goes to Karnataka. But Karnataka Hindi people are there. 
So, you know, it goes to Kerala. So, it's tossing up. Apart from that, it is the Delhi Lieutenant Governor, Mr. Saxena, has written to Amit Shah that withdraw Tamil Nadu police from Tihar jail because murderers or murderers are happening murders are happening among the convicts and there are clashes caste war uh, you know uh, major wars mr manish sisodia and uh, satyendra jain two half ministers are in the jail they are worried about their welfare also and the safety and security of them that is the reason why suddenly they decided to withdraw is a is a is a black mark on tamil nadu police high time tamil nadu police learned how to adjust with Delhi. They should not involve in corruption or other escapades. Thank you, sir. Uh, I think we have a few more uh, scoops to go. Number six, sir. Number six, we, we finish with the six. Uh, one minute, sir. One minute, sir. Uh, very, very good. Ha, 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 ha. Light bulbs going off. The, the government, Narendra Modi government has decided 2024 Republic Day Parade on January 26th, 2024 in Kartavya Path in New Delhi will be only women force, no male. Wow. He decided 100% women and the chief guest will, so, will also be a woman politician from a foreign country. So it's going to be only women. Thereby, Mr. Narendra Modi is sending a special message as we break the you know scoop. Mr. Narendra Modi also break, broke his uh, silence, bringing the 33% reservation, which is a cry from the opposition. Now he made it 100%. Come what me? It, <laughs> no, that means that means Mr. Narendra Modi's vote bank for 2024 looks by election from the uh, women folk will also increase. If you remember. In Uttar Pradesh, Narendra Modi got a flip because of the triple talaq, because of the toilet for the women. This all helped him. So Narendra Modi always thinks about the vote bank before he invents any program or policies. This uh, bringing of 100% women for Republic Day Parade is a novel idea. Thumbs up, Mr. Narendra Modi. That is our scoop and that is the last one, sir. We meet next week, Monday, sir. Thank you so much, uh, Rajagopalanji. If you could kindly take two or three questions, sir. Uh, we have two, two questions. Of two questions. Two questions. Sir. Sir. Two two questions, questions? Sir. Okay. I'm just going to take the first two that came up. One second, sir. Uh, I need to quickly go through this. The reason for my completing is a gentleman from US. I don't want to tell his name. He sent me an SMS. Rajagopalan, I am driving. You complete your scoop now. Let us meet on next Monday. <laughs> wonderful, sir. <And> wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, Srinivas Jayaprakash wants to know, what action has the Indian government taken on the issue of attacks on Murugan Temple in Sri Lanka? No mainstream media has reported the issue in Tamil Nadu. Srinivas Jayaprakash, thanks that you acknowledge P. Guru's uh, you know, chat show. It is, it's a lively one. And we alone broke it. The government of India has uh, sent the Indian High Commissioner of uh, in Colombo to that temples where it was all demolished. There is a report. Intentionally, the Dravidian model media, they are not publishing, only, you know, B gurus echoing that. Srinivas Jayaprakash, you also uh, tweet, you also write to the ministers, you also speak it out. Thereby, we create a sense that temples of uh, northeastern province Jaffna are safe in Sri Lanka. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, last question for today. Uh, Icha Bliss Cosmic Bliss wants to know, is UCC going to be strictly implemented with cancellation of voting rights for offenders? No, no. These are all certain, uh, these are all certain important aspects being deliberated between the law secretary and the home secretary at the official level. I understand that, you know, a political decision will be taken. It is not going to be that harsh, sir. Voting rights will not be taken out because it infringes on the uh, privacy and pri right of uh, individuals, sir. I don't think that will come out. Uh, Mr. Bliss, you are totally off the mark. Well, you know, what will happen is uh, the Muslim rights today are from Aurangzeb time, 400 years, 300 years. 
So those things will come to the modern. So no nika halala, none of the other things like no triple talaq. You cannot get triple talaq. You have to go to the court. You can only have one wife. So these are the things that will be immediately enforced. That has been already followed by everybody else in India except the Muslims. That will now be enforced. So I think that's my and limited and understanding. And finally, finally, I, I got just a tip off. I got just a tip off. I want to break it. Only final. That's all. Sir. And that, that yes, is sir. going to be very, very interesting aspect because everyone will love it. Sir. Everyone will love it. That, that the breaking news scoop is the final one. Final one. I don't want to yes, take sir. much yes, of sir. your time, Mr. Ayer. The new parliament building will be opened on July, mid-July monsoon session. And wow. members of parliament, 543 in Lok Sabha, 250 or something in Rajya Sabha, all the 700 odd MPs have been given a smart card. They have been given a smart card in which you can enter. That means the process of opening the new building has started. That is the scoop number six. We complete with this, sir. And, you know, next week I meet you with more than 12 scoops, sir. Wonderful, sir. We will hold you to 12 scoops, sir. We are going to count <laughs> 10, 10 fingers and then I'll have used two toes also. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Viewers, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. I hope you like this program right at the beginning. Uh, certainly, you know, uh, Rajagopalanji's videos are uh, like gold. A lot of interesting information. So please make this thing go viral. And as always, Rajagopalanji, Namaskar. Thank you so much, sir. And Thank you. we'll be again joining you very soon. Thank you, sir. Thank you.